Hey yo, it is your truly Lamore Cena. Y'all know I'm y'all, y'all co-host Free the Poet. I just yeah. I'm super excited and to know that we are about to speak with a solo practitioner that's barred in DC. Um mm -hmm. that that's in law and just kind of having had a conversation with him, him, I'm even more excited because I feel like he's gonna bring a different level of dynamic to the conversation. Mm. So I can't mm -hmm. wait for you all to meet Chesley Robinson. When I met Chesley, he was at the flea market. He had this book, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see this. Can y'all see that? Over here. Can you the see The Robinson's that? Guide to Police Encounters. Do you think that police officers targeted a particular group of black people? Let's just say people that actually live in the hood, right? Because like my thing is this, from me watching the patterns, I look at the type of vehicles that they're pulling over. And a lot of the vehicles that they pull over that's actually recorded are like older style vehicles, you know what I mean? Like the old 99 Acuras and everything up until about 2005, you know what I mean? Right. So could that be the targeted demographic based off of the vehicle to run their tags and then see where they live to see if there that could be somebody that they could potentially pull over? That's a complicated answer to that. The first thing is that it's clear that there is a higher likelihood of being stopped, being detained, being arrested if you are a minority, if right. you have brown skin. I mean, there's, there are studies that show, for example, even if you take Hispanics, the Hispanics have a higher percentage of arrests than whites. But white mm. Hispanics are more proportionate with white people. Black Hispanics are more proportionate with black people. Mm. So, so there's clearly a propensity to more freely stop, more freely detain, more freely arrest um, black and brown people. Right. You add into that, there's also a higher propensity to arrest poor people. Right. So there's, if you're poor, regardless of whether you're white or black, you're more likely to get arrested, detained, um, or stopped than if you have, have money. Or at least those detentions of, or, and stops are being recorded. So, like, I could stop somebody in a Mercedes, and that never gets recorded because it's just right. a and then they leave. Right. Um, as I stop somebody in that eighty-three color Supreme, right, it's an official stop. There's a paper trail to it. There's a documentation to it. Mm. So you combine those two things, and then which group is the most likely to get stopped and detained? Mm. Well, it's um economically disadvantaged black and brown people.